Oh, Sheree. <laughs> Sheree and the opportunity that she was trying to get with this new relationship with Martel. Well, Candy has a lot to say. Martel Holt's ex-wife, Melody Holt, has a lot to say. And all of it makes it seem very opportunistic, both for Sheree, but mostly for Martel. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So you know we had that breaking news this week, earlier this week, it's already Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. And Sheree was confirming her relationship with Love & Marriage Huntsville star. Some people still are saying, who's Martel? Who's Martel? Well, he had a lot of drama on another reality show. I explained it in my original video, so be sure to check that out if you missed that. So Martel has been problematic, and a lot of people that know who Martel is, like, he just cheated on his wife. He just had a baby with another woman while he was still married to Melody. Sheree, this is not the way to go. You make poor choices. Speaking of Sheree's poor cho choices, oh, Prison Bay Tyrone Gillums did an interview with with the Jasmine brand and pretty much says that he didn't stand Sheree up. She could have easily went to where he was staying. She's done that before. He basically says that Sheree's lying, basically. <laughs> so if you missed that exclusive interview, I didn't get a chance to talk about it yesterday. Head on over to the Jasmine brand and check out their full interview if you are even interested in what Tyrone has to say. I believe Tyrone, but Tyrone is also a scammer, a, a scammer prov proven by court. So. He could scam us, but so is Sheree. She's scammer adjacent. Period. Dot. Okay, Sheree. So Candy, and I literally was watching Candy live <laughs> this morning on her IG, where she spilled this tea. But before we get into what Candy had to say, let's take a listen to what Melody Hope from Love and Marriage Huntsville had to say in regards to Sheree and Martell's relationship. I mean, everybody has been watching, you know, media. So you look at the time frame, right? If you look at the time frame, has, do you think there's been time for a person to mature, grow up, heal? Um, no. Do what needs to be done to be a better person? Do you think that? Um, you know, <laughs> that's what I'll say. <laughs> I agree with her. I agree. I agree with her. Look, she does say more in the interview, but that to me stood out for a reason, because she's like, mm, the time frame of this, the time frame of this doesn't make complete sense. And if you've seen our recaps of Love and Marriage Huntsville, and we've been talking about Martel this season, on how this season he's like, I'm going, you know, Melody's been looking stellar. For those that aren't familiar, Melody came out of this divorce, building businesses, taking back her name, building a music career, all of this stuff. So this season was Martel's season to be like, I'm going to be the winner. I'm going to have this business, this business, this business. And all of us are like, did you pass your builder's license exam yet? No. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We, we'll see come September when part two of a lackluster season comes back. But we also told you when this news came out about Sheree and Martell dating, I said this was a scheme that Carlos King set up for the bull. I'm just saying, it was a scheme. Because Sheree, in her interview with TMZ, says that they were set up by a mutual friend. And I said, the mutual friend, Carlos King, he literally took to his social media that Tuesday and said, oh, mood. And it was a picture with Sheree on Nightcap with Carlos King. So now Candy, who we've talked about, if you listen to my podcast, if you've been checking out our recent stories, I kept on saying, well, now I'm starting to think that Carlos King really does have an issue with Candy, despite saying otherwise. And despite saying that he had nothing to do with the rumors that Phaedra was spreading in that season, I'm starting to think otherwise. So I do also think that Candy on, on Instagram Live, and she was also on, um, on, I forgot what the radio show is named, but on a radio show in Atlanta, I also feel like that was strategic, what she was saying, but also very obvious to all of us. We said this is an opportunity for Martell to have some sort of story on Love and Marriage Huntsville, an opportunity 
for Sheree possibly to secure her peach for next season. Because honestly, based on what we're getting this season, very much like Cynthia Bailey. Once we get She by Sheree, the fashion show, with fashions, allegedly, then th what's the need for to bring Sheree back? She doesn't have a man. And you know the Real Housewives of pro uh, Producers always believe that you should have a husband and family and all of that in order to be on the show. That is a sticking point for them. Okay, that being said, Candy spilled some tea in regards to Martel and his opportun opportunistic ways, even from earlier this year. So this is what Candy said. I don't I mean, want her to be in a situation dating, where it feels Hope. like, you I don't know, want her to be in a situation where it feels where like, you know, she's being where used for publicity she's being earlier this year. Used for publicity. And I gotta be honest. Earlier uh, this year. Um, family and I gotta be honest. Uh, um, who's on another reality family show. Uh -huh. Hit me up on to go out on a date with him at Blaze. and was like, oh, could you have another table open for us because we're going to have somebody taking our pictures and videos so that they can post it and that it out like this or something. They can post it and that it out like something they had. Okay. But no blog really posted, only like one. But no blog really posted it. But my whole point was... Place posted it. But my whole point was... that I see... <laughs> this similar now, situation, I'm like, uh, oh, this similar no, situation, no, I'm like, no, like, no, is he doing this? Being genuine, or is he doing the same thing? Being genuine, or is he doing the same thing? So that's what I was like. That's fair. Doing with other person. Weird. Matters. So that's what I was like. Sheree is dating. Weird. But not weird. We all suspected it. But there were people that believed that this relationship between Sheree and Martel was real. But I'm telling you, we were looking at the body language. We were looking at her conversation with TMZ. And we were like, no, it's it's giving very much spring, summer, fall, winter, never, ever going to happen. Sheree, we all were rooting for you. And we're so happy that you have Chateau Thelma. But at this point, girl, just be your authentic self. Just be your authentic self. Trust and believe we're going to love you for it. Not this fake and phony situation. And of all people to create a storyline with, you choose Martel? Martel. It was just the other day people were dragging Martel for, for cheating on his wife. It wasn't that long ago. His baby with Ariane is, what, two years old? And yes, people can grow and change. But Mar Martel still has not even taken ownership for what he did to Melody. So I'm literally in the middle of creating and editing this video on Candy exposing that Martel might be an opportunist when it comes to this relationship with Sheree. Well, now, according to Funky Dineva and The Shade Room, Funky Dineva is reporting. They said, so here is what's interesting. I spoke to one of my colleagues in media who has a very close relationship with Martel Holt. And according to her, Martel Holt is pissed and said that he and Sheree are not together. Sheree is not even his type, that he is building a pool for Sheree and is working closely with her pulling permits. Sheree, does he have his builder's license? I don't know if he should. Be. Again, don't choose the wrong person here to be doing work for you. Are you bartering this situation? Oh, this is, oh, Sheree's ending up sad again. <laughs> Damn. Damn. But like I said, I never believed this relationship, even if we saw them boo-hoo-hooing all kind of all over each other. I was like, well, they're acting. They're trying to secure their spot. I really don't believe Sheree will be coming back next season unless she's able to bamboozle the producers into some sort of fake storyline. If the producers are like, all right, we believe this. But I also think this is Sheree's way of moving on to another reality show because she, she knows her days are numbered on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. They're not going to bring her back next season. They're not going to, um, because literally, she was grabbing for a storyline when everything with Tyrone fell apart. I keep telling you guys this. That was the rumor before the season even started. And here we are, again, her grabbing for an opportunity. I, I, I don't just think Martel's being opportunistic here. I also believe that Sheree is as well. She's, according to TMZ, he's helping her with her, her fashion line. Another man that wants to sleep with you is helping with your fashion line. This is why She by Sheree is where it is. This is why. I'm done rooting for you. I was rooting for her. I was wrong. See, 
I'm, I might be a Taurus, but I can admit when I'm wrong. I was wrong. I was rooting for Sheree to return this season. I've loved her over the years, but I'm done with Sheree. I'm done with Sheree. And Sonya, you are the new bone collector. I'm not done with you quite yet, though. I'm not done with you quite yet. I, I believe uh, Sonya can learn from Sheree's mistakes because she already is winning in, in so many different ways. <laughs> so, guys, I want to know your reaction to what Candy dropped. I don't know. This beef be Candy, I know you're watching. Just send, send, send someone. You know, you know plenty of people in Atlanta. Oh, wait. Is, um, is the person that went on this date with Martel your I think it's your cousin, but she's on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta or was on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Um, I don't remember her name, but you guys know, you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Like the name is there, but I don't want to say it incorrectly, but she's on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, but you never know it. Candy, Candy knows everybody in Atlanta. So, but the only other real sh reality show that I can think of would be Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, but you never know. Just saying. Let's continue this conversation below. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.